Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kim, I am a plant mom and today we are doing a reporting slash preparing for the spring houseplant video. Let's go. So basically I thought I would have a little bit more time before the spring wild plant energy but no, I was wrong. <laughs> So yeah, um, I just realized a few days ago that some of my plants were giving me signals of distress <laughs> and for some of them good signals like new leaves and all that and for some of them I think it's the time, it's time to prepare for spring. I'm just gonna do what I'm gonna have to do for now which is reporting some of my plants and you know cutting some leaves and try to organize so i'm gonna show you some good surprises <laughs> i had in the last um, few days first off this beautiful new leaf from my caprea it's it's stunning it's quite small um i thought it was gonna be bigger but i'm really happy with it and i'm also happy that it's healthy because <laughs> growing it in leka sometimes the leaves are a little bit wonky and i think i'm gonna wait for for the new leaf to be a little bit you know uh, mature before i put the full plant in soil another good surprise and one of my favorite surprise I, I can't stop looking at it it's from my hoya matilde splash it had two new leaves in the last week uh, it grows like really really fast i put her under the grow lights maybe two or three weeks ago and it just blessed me with two absolutely beautiful new leaf which one of them is really really splashy i was complaining in the last video that my matilda splash wasn't really splashy enough for me but this new leaf is really splashy and I love it. Also, a good new surprise from it is that it's growing flowers, I think. <laughs> like, I don't know if it's gonna grow the full flower. I'm gonna wait for it. I never had flowers from it, so I'm really, really excited and it's growing like really quickly. But I'm very, very happy about it. So this is a setup. Um, I'm on my coffee table right now. Um, yeah, we are going to do this here. Uh, the plan is that I'm going to do a batch of soil and soil mix basically. And we're going to try to report what we can um, today because there's a lot to do and I'm not sure that I'm going to do it all in one video. Um, but we're going to try. So this is my mix. This is my soul mix. Um, I have leka, barks, and soil, plain soil in it. Um, the soil must be quite fertile because it has been sitting in my garden <laughs> for months now. I don't like to buy, uh, you know, soils at the store because. You know, it needs insects, it needs, you know, life in here to be uh, fertile. To me, it needs it needs all of that. So I prefer to, you know, when I buy um, some soil, I prefer to let it sit in the garden, like, you know, on the ground, basically. And when I put it on the ground, I, you know, I mix it with the, with the dirt that's already on the ground and I let it sit for months and when I do that um, you know it's raining and the insects are getting in there and then the grains of soil if I can say it like this um, are getting finer and I think it's better for our soil mixes so first we're gonna repot my begonia because it just sits right here um, Actually, that's <laughs> that's crazy. She's getting propagated and she's putting out flowers. Look at that. That's that's so pretty. Look at that. 
This begonia has really cute white flowers. I love them. So right now I'm gonna repot my begonia in this old um, <laughs> plastic pot. Uh, it's a perfect size for it and also I just keep it because it fits perfectly into this beautiful uh, mango wood uh, pot and I love the contrast between the redness of the plant and this pot. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. The roots are really nice. I'm just hoping that it's gonna be fine this time, please! Don't rot on me. Please, begonia, please. I just love this begonia. It's really, it's giving me, you know, granny plant. <laughs> granny plant, um, you know, in my parents' house, it's in the kitchen and it just fits the vibe, you know. Granny house, kitchen. I'm reaching uh, on the ground because I have uh, old, old soil uh, on the ground, and it has more, a little bit less bark and leka and more actual dirt, um, and it's better for the the small root system of begonias. Yes. It's so pretty, I like it. And the flower, like, excuse me please. So I just um, got my <laughs> silvery string of hearts uh, out of its uh, anger and it's a mess. It's, it's a mess, look at that. And I just realized I'm gonna have to cut I'm gonna have to cut a lot of this because some of them are already dead. There is good roots on it, but it's root rot. It's so heavy, it's so full of water. I think the soil retains too much water and that's why this string of hearts is struggling right now. And this tape on the plastic pot, it's really messy, it's, oh my god, it's a mess. I did that because um, the uh, macrame hanger and the pot uh, works well together and that's the only plastic pot that I have that fits perfectly in the, the white pot that I have. Now I realize it's, it's a whole mess. <laughs> I hate repotting a uh, string of anything, it's always messy. Well, right now, let's let's just, you know, put all of the soil out and we're gonna work the plants afterwards. Oh my god. That's... <sighs> so watery. It looks like mud, actually. I have a lot of uh, broken roots everywhere in this soil, but I, I can't see um, any rot, rotting roots. That's, that's why I'm, I'm suspicious. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, the root system is, is so small. It must... It's so small, guys. Look at that. And the vine, you saw that uh, earlier, the, the string is really long. Detangling these balls. <laughs> oh, that sounds weird, but detangling it is my worst nightmare. I hate it. So guys, I know it's bad, but I think I'm gonna repot it in the same pot because I only have a small pot and I think the roots I just put it in water to wash it but I think the roots yeah there there's too much roots for this small pot and otherwise it's a little bit too big so I think yeah I'm gonna repot it in the same pot it was in in the old mix there was a little bit of perlite and leka and a lot of soil 
um, but the sword there was too much sword in it and now that they are uh, a little bit cleaner you can see that the roots are really healthy actually and you know the white balls they are doing fine so I don't think there was any rot but maybe the soil wasn't good for her and maybe I I was over watering it and it wasn't at the point of rot but um, almost yeah almost at this point so obviously it's gonna be bald headed for a while <laughs> Right now I'm focusing on um, the health of the roots and you know I'm gonna wait for it until it produce um, healthier leaves and bigger leaves and then we are gonna work on the top section because <laughs> obviously right now it doesn't look good but yeah. Um, this is triggering me, I don't like detangling a string of hearts. Let's put it there and detangle it and oh my god. So yeah, this is how it looks for now. Um, it looks really full here and <laughs> it looks bold. But that's still fine and I still have some length so I'm happy about it. And I really hope, I'm crossing my fingers, I really hope that this new soil is gonna do her good. She looks really good now. <laughs> I'm falling in love again with her and it was just a soil problem and now she... I hope she's gonna give me bigger leaves and you know, uh, I hope that I will have um, sometime in the summer to fix the bald head because right now it doesn't look pretty but you know with a full head and this cascade of strings it's it's really 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 pretty now we are gonna work with this uh, mannequins that I don't like at all right now because it looks like a mess um, I saw that it was pushing out some new really small leaves so I think he's uh, in time with the spring he's um, telling me that okay I need to do something because it's it's not good at all in this spinal mass and I you know um, I need something so I'm not gonna play with it I'm not I don't have the energy for that. I'm just gonna cut it and um, put it in water because I know that I don't know the root system, but oh, actually, it's good. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I'm not sure right now. I'm not sure of what I'm gonna do. Oh. Um, I wasn't expecting this much roots as um, the leaves were not giving anything. I'm gonna keep it like this, okay? New plan, new plan. I'm gonna keep it like this. We are gonna um, cut. We are still gonna cut, but we are gonna cut um, just above the nodes where there is uh, the root system so um, what am I doing what am I doing I don't know this channel is a mess because I don't know what I'm doing we're just gonna cut it yeah like that yeah okay Let's just let's just cut it because right now it's not giving anything and I'm just thinking too much I think. <laughs> okay, so now it looks like this, so <laughs> there is nothing to be excited about. But there I see some active nodes on the top and 
one really active node in here so i hope it's gonna push out um something with this good root system and the rest of it i'm just gonna cut it and propagate it so i'm just gonna put it in water and i hope it's gonna grow out some good roots that i'm gonna be able to you know repot with uh, all of this and make a full healthy plant again um, it was a surprise actually I am really happy about the the root system uh, I had here I didn't think uh, any of it before I'm gonna try uh, two propagation techniques on this and if this doesn't work out I still have a good uh, root system with uh, growing nodes in it so it's nice so with this new baby <laughs> we are gonna say goodbye i still have some plants that i need to repot uh, and obviously i didn't have the chance the time nor the energy i did the most important plants uh, the most concerning ones and we're gonna do the other parts of the repotting session in a in a future video if you appreciated this video please like share and subscribe it would help me a lot and if you are interested in my personal life i don't know what you would be but <laughs> yeah i have an instagram account where i post more about uh, a little bit about plants but more about home designs and vlog and you know traveling and stuff so yeah if you're interested please check it out i guess i think this is all i have to say so <laughs> thank you for watching and see you in the next one bye